Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 4th of March, 2021. I'm Roy Potter. Welcomes you come in. And this segment I just entitled The Image. It's actually a little more complicated than that, but let me give you the reason why I'm coming on this today. Today is the March 4th, of course, and the Pope of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis, is due in the ancient city of Ur in Iraq, uh, old ancient Babylon. Uh, Ur was actually the uh, ancient city of Sumer, which where the Tower of Babel was built, and of course Babylon grew out of that, etc. But at any rate, he's due there, and we've been talking about that. I've referred to it uh, over the last little while. Uh, had you go look at some videos, for instance, in the last uh, couple of presentations I've made, and decided that I really need to talk about this situation with making the world worship the image of the beast, and define those words as they were in the original Greek. Now, I'm better at Hebrew than I'm at Greek, but at any rate, we're going to use the Strongs for that, because I think it's that important. Let's read a couple of scriptures, and this one, I, I, I actually read this some time ago, uh, but I, I'm not going to home in on the actual significance of it except maybe just to hint at it a little bit but uh, I've talked about Hebrews 1 chapter 1 and I've read it almost all the way through on a couple of occasions but we're just going to home in on verse 3 so it's chapter 1 of Hebrews verse 3 let's see how Jesus is described here and I'll start I might as well just start in verse 1 God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, hath in these last days spoken unto us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. Who, being the brightness of his glory, now listen to this, and the express image of his person. Hmm. Y'all need to ponder that. And upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. If you go to Strong's and you look up that word image there, express image of the Father, of his person, hmm. And you look up the word that they're using there, it's word 5481 in Strong's on the Greek side. And it's character, character which is really the, the basis for our word character. You know, a man has character, you know, type of thing. His character is good or bad or whatever, that kind of thing. That word means engraving or express image. In other words, that it's actually the exact replica. And you get that from another word that this is based on, which means scratch or write. So in other words, this image that Jesus is described as is, is an engraving or an express image. It's like looking at the Father himself. Okay? Let's go to Revelations 13. And I was going to read the entire area from verse 4 to 18, but that's too much. Let's home in on this one here. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. And I told you this beast is a system, and one of the heads was wounded. Okay, we've talked about that before in, the, in a former video. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Now, if you were John the Revelator, and you were seeing modern technology, how would you describe it? Okay, I'm just putting that out there. 
and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and to live. So they're going to make an image. This isn't an express image of the Father. It's not that kind of an image. Let's look up the word. It's 1504. It's a ikon, ikon, and it means likeness or resemblance. Not like we talked about before, an engraving, an express image, something actually scratched out, written, um, the actual express image of the person. This is a likeness or a resemblance. So what I kind of suggest to you is that as in some of the nations of the earth that put up a, a picture of their president or their king or whatever, and you're supposed to give some type of, of obedience to that, some type of deference, even worship, that's what we're talking about. Now think in the terms of modern day technology about reproducing a resemblance or a likeness. Not saying that there won't be a person that is there Okay, that can still happen because it would make sense that Satan, let's just use that term, who have I've often said likes to imitate God, if God sent his son here to be the express image of his person, then Satan is going to try to do the same thing, but he can't do it quite the same way. So he's going to make a resemblance a likeness, and then that image can be placed all over the earth with our modern technology, for instance. I'm not saying it has to go down that way, but it's important to realize that that's what we're looking at. Now, why do I bring that up? We're going to home in on another word, okay? We're going to home in on this word in verse 14, where it says that they should make an image, that they should make an image. You see the difference? Jesus was made by God in his express image of his person. We're talking about the people making an image to the beast. Might be better to say an image of the beast. And we've kind of already seen that for those of you who have been paying attention to my videos here on YouTube. We've already seen them make these images of the beast. Let's go to find out what word is being used here. This is in verse 14. We're going to look up the word make in Strong's. And it's word 4160. Okay. And it's poieo. Poyeo. Let's read what it says in Strong's about 4160. Poyeo. This is why you should use Strong's. Now, I could use a Gesinius and get in, into even deeper, but I think you'll see the many ways this word make is used and how it applies into the subject matter I'm talking about today. So it's Poyeo, and it means... <clears throat> abide, band together, here. So it's not even saying that there has to be an image made. It just means that you have to hear. You have to give credence to. Let's read a, few bit, a little bit more. Bring, cause, execute, Exercise, fulfill, give, have, hold, observe, ordain, perform, secure. You get the idea? So in other words, this is someone that is going to do something. It's called the... <clears throat> 
The Catholics like to call it, and it's in the scriptures, the false prophet. And that's why Ur right now is very important. Because what's going to happen apparently is that the one head that really represents this evil beast that's taking over the world, which is a system, just like God has his system and he has his representative, which is, of course, Jesus, in the Christian concept of things. So you have these two very similar in description situations happening. But in one of them, this one that's coming up now, it could be that the image will be reproduced and sent all over the world, sort of like it is in, in certain countries, as I just mentioned, where they have the picture of the leader and everybody has to bow down to it, or like Nebuchadnezzar did. Where, he, where his priest basically convinced him to make this image and everybody had to give obeisance to it, and if they didn't, they'd be cast in the furnace of fire, right? You remember that story. Well, this is kind of the same thing. So it's not saying that there couldn't be these images sent around. We saw it in 1984, too, the movie 1984. It's not saying that can't happen, but what's even more important is that the people make this image. And what it is, is as I just pointed out in Poyeo here, it's giving credence to, it doesn't even really call for an image being made, but it's giving credence to, it's worshiping. Um, there are different forms of worship, and unfortunately we've been in the middle of, a, of worshiping now for almost a year. There are certain um, uh, face coverings, there's now the, the, the movement, all, and I've talked about that before, which caused me some difficulties, and the move now, which is coming up very quickly, with uh, if you don't get the next step, read between the lines, if you don't do the next step, that uh, you can be barred from doing certain activities. Remember, the, the definition of liberty, which I've often talked about. I had somebody come on my, on my Twitter the other day and say, define the perfect law of liberty. And what I ended up doing is just ignoring him. But what I should have done, probably... Uh, I suppose, is said to him, you know, you if you have gray matter between those two ears of yours and two thumbs, you can research that yourself. I'm not going to waste my time with you because you're just trying to pull my chain. Uh, but at any rate, the, the perfect law of liberty, of course, is the true gospel. And what is liberty? Liberty is freedom with responsibility. Okay, so... That's the definition. That's even basically the military definition for naval people when they go on liberty. They have freedom, but with responsibility. Of course, they have some extra parameters set there, but you get the idea. In other words, if you're totally free, you could do anything you want. Sort of like the old Alistair Crowley idea of do as thou wilt, you know, kill somebody if you want. You know, it's no big deal, you know, steal, whatever. Uh, but that's not responsible. That's, that's, that's irresponsible, right? So liberty is freedom with responsibility, that you are responsible for the actions that you take, okay? Anyway, um, that's kind of where I wanted to go today. I think it's important to understand what's happening in Ur, and I wanted to give some more information, especially on these concepts of images, that uh, it, it, it can be just as simple as as a certain individual that we're concerned with today going to Ur <laughs> and saying that you need to give credence to what this person says, this other person that's identified as the beast who had the, the head of the beast that had the wound in the head and was healed, that represents the entire system. Important to know those things and then to understand the idea of making, that the people would make this image not God, the way Jesus came to us, for instance, or the way you came to us, okay? Some people would say, well, that's not the same way. <laughs> we could get into that another day sometime, but the point is, is that this image the people make, and they make it by giving their, their obeisance to it. They make it possibly by actually making images They're basically idols made by men. It's idolatry. Okay. I think that's all I've got. Uh, maybe one other thing. 
And I'm dancing around a few things here because I wanted this to go up on YouTube, but I also have to be careful with what how I present something in the words that I use, as you all know. I could have just done a, a full expose and put it on uh, LBRY or Odyssey, but uh, it's also good that if you have the ability to study some of these things on your own. Okay. Last thing I'll say is this, that we're going through a lot of censorship these days, and everybody knows about it. And that's the way you choke freedom, right? You choke it out by limiting speech so that all the different sides cannot be discussed. And it's a very evil thing. We all know about the book burnings in Germany. Well, that same thing is happening to us now, just in a different way, right? So I wanted to talk a little bit about how this is the same thing, this censorship is the same thing that the scriptures say would happen in the last days. That in those days, there would be a famine in the land. Not a famine of lack of food and drink, although that's going to happen too, to some extent, quite a bit actually. But the one that the, the prophet was really concerned about was a famine of the word of God. So how does that happen? Well, by people just not wanting to discuss the word of God, not having the spirit of God to help them to speak help them to understand, to, to search for truth, that kind of thing. But it's also censorship. It's also preventing those discussions from happening. That can cause a famine of the Word of God. So there we are helping to make the image of the beast again. You see how that works? Hopefully that makes sense to you all. Like I said, I didn't want to get into too much detail for obvious reasons here, but some things to think about. Always looking up the words is important in, in the original languages. And the idea today of, of what I'm ending on here, a famine of the Word of God is also helping to contribute to making the image of the beast. You see how that works? Okay. Thanks for coming. Uh, I'll get this up as soon as I can. And maybe we'll have a live stream to talk about some of it. But unfortunately, the live streams to me are only available on YouTube. So we have to be real careful there, of course. You know, I don't mind necessarily losing YouTube. It's just that, um, as you know, it's probably the most convenient <laughs> under a number of circumstances. But we'll just take it from here and, and see how this goes, okay? Thanks for coming. And uh, some things are happening. Pardon me. Some things are happening in... The old Sumer city of Ur starting tomorrow. I think that there are going to be major developments in the identities of certain people in the world. And unfortunately, especially in the United States, although it's happening in all the countries that have spouted liberty and, you know, the Magna Carta and Britain and, you know, all this, all this talk about freedom and liberty and all that in these countries, that's actually where the, some of the worst suppression and oppression is occurring right now. And as Michael, Jonah of Nineveh on Twitter has talked about, there's this, there's this agreement that seemed to happen all at once during the Trump administration. And now all the leaders of the world are, are going pretty much in the same direction of oppression and suppression. Why is that? The covenant of many is what they call it. And it happened on Trump's watch. The situation with the Palantir, when, when Trump went to Saudi Arabia and put his hands on the Palantir globe there. All of that, all these were rituals that were taking place because all the leaders of the world were getting on board with this, whether they were extorted or just evil was put into place long ago and now they're just rearing the head because, of course, the mystery of iniquity will be, be revealed at this time. Regardless, they're all on this same page. And you... And the Spirit of God are the enemy to them. All right, we'll talk to you later out here for now.